A Jefferson County family is still searching for answers following a near-death experience Sunday night. A stray bullet entered their home, striking Courtney Cups in the back. EBC 3340's Gracie Johnson sat down with Cups today. Gracie, how's she doing? Brenda, thankfully, Courtney Cups only suffered from bruising and an abrasion from the bullet that came through their living room window. She recalled exactly how she remembers it happening Sunday night. I felt like my back stinging, and I just knew since I had previously heard the shots, I was like, I've been shot. Sunday, as Courtney Cups was winding down for the night with her husband and two children, a stray bullet entered their living room window, ripped through the couch, and stopped right at Cups' back. I was doing nighttime bottle for my four-month-old, and we were sitting right here. All the lights were off, everything quiet. We heard first set of shots, sounded like three or four, came from a distance maybe, and then um, the second set of shots was a couple minutes later, it sounded closer by, and that is actually one of the bullets that struck the window. Cups immediately screamed for her husband, who was on the other side of the house. I don't see any blood, you're fine. Well, I, we turn around and look at the couch, and literally there was some stuffing hanging out of the couch. And we look at the window. There was the bullet hole in the window. Cup's husband called 911. That's when they heard the third round of shots ring out. This time, she said they sounded to be in a different direction, causing Cups to believe the person shooting was moving quickly. You know, logic thinking, the way it sounded, it was traveling. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office told us Monday that preliminary investigation by deputies suggests someone was randomly shooting in the woods. Investigators told Cups that they believe the bullet came from a 45 caliber gun. Cups has reason to believe this could have been someone in a vehicle. She shared these concerns with investigators Sunday night. Since then, she's not been able to get back in touch with investigators regarding the case. I tried calling the sheriff's department all day yesterday, the number that's on the Google. Um, it rings about 10 or 12 times and it automatically hangs up. After speaking with Cups, I took several questions to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office myself, including how they determined the bullet to be from someone shooting in nearby woods. Henry Irby, public information officer for Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, told me they do not share information pertaining to ongoing investigations unless it helps progress the investigation, and they do not believe there's a threat to the community at this time. Cups is still searching for answers for the safety of her family and the community. These are just questions that our community needs to know, and we need to understand who's in charge and who's throwing it under the rug because this is not okay. Henry Irby with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office did tell me, however, additional patrols will be provided in the area and they strongly encourage citizens to call law enforcement anytime they hear shots being fired near them. Brenda. All right, Gracie Johnson reporting.